So my free sky Tyrannus just came in finally. I've been on the waiting list for about six months at Aloft Hobbies. So definitely check those guys out if you're interested in something like this. My previous transmitter was this Turnigy with the DJT module. And the great thing about the Tyrannus is that it's a free sky product. So all of my existing receivers will work perfectly with the Tyrannus. And I'm just starting to get my feet wet with the Tyrannus. I'll be sharing different things as I learn them, but I wanted to start off with just the simple binding procedure because obviously we need to be able to bind before we can get to the fun stuff. So let's take a look at how to do that. The first thing we need to do with this V8R receiver is put a jumper between the signal pins of one and two. Because the Tyrannus is a D mode transmitter, so that needs to be jumped. I'll go ahead and connect channel three so that we can get power to this receiver. We power up the Tyrannus. It's going to talk to me. Now we're ready to go. If you're not aware, this runs OpenTX. So I'm learning this as I go, but OpenTX is pretty amazing. So what I'll do is I'll go down here to create a model. And we're going to go ahead and go into the settings for that model. And this is uh, page two. Okay, for model setup, I'm going to press the plus button. We're going to go up from the bottom. And you can see that it's in D16 mode. Now we want to change that to D8 for our 8 channel V8R receiver. I'm going to hit enter. And then what we'll do next is I'll scroll down and you see this bind option, which is a little different if you're from the Turnigy world. You normally have to you know, push that button on the back of your transmitter. Well, in this case, I'm just going to hit enter. And now we're in bind mode. Now with the transmitter in bind mode, I'm going to power the receiver. Okay, our receiver's powered up. Now you'll notice the fast blink, which says that we are binded together. So I'll go ahead and just hit exit. We'll go back to the main menu. I'll power down the receiver, and I'm going to go ahead and remove this jumper. And then I will power the receiver back up. And now you can see that we have our blinking green LED and we have a bind between the Tyrannus and our Free Sky receiver. Pretty straightforward. The only thing that got me was just having to navigate into the menus to select bind. I'm so used to pushing a button on the transmitter to do that. And just one last tip if you're thinking about this transmitter, it does come with this pretty cool industrial looking case, kind of billeted aluminum. And the cool thing about it is if you order it from Aloft Hobbies, you have the option of ordering the Tyrannus with the case at no additional fee. The only thing they say is you have to pay a little bit extra for shipping because it's obviously a little bigger. So just wanted to point that out if you're thinking about it. This comes with the case, transmitter, receiver, charger, and a neck strap. And at the time of the video, all that for $200, 16 channels, tough to beat. So hope that was useful. I'll continue to share my thoughts as I learn more about the Tyrannus and OpenTX. And until next time, thanks for watching.